down here at the Senior Bowl with ESPN's Todd McShay. Todd, how big of an opportunity is this, is this for the New York Jets being out here coaching these guys? I think it's a great opportunity. I mean, you, you see every year the, the numbers kind of spike for the coaching staffs that are here coaching the teams in terms of the players that they draft from the game and specifically from their roster compared to everyone else in the league. So it's all about, I mean, we all get the tape. We all get to watch it live. But it, everything that they're able to learn with the the one-on-one -on -one time and, and the meeting time, just watching them between drills, you know, how they're getting, are they showing up to meetings on time, who's early, you know, who, who's picking up things, the installs, different things like that. You get to learn so much more about these players and what the setting would be, you know, when you get them in the NFL, a very similar situation uh, than, than any other team. And you, as a scout for another team, you're, you're trying to get that information and you're talking to and hopefully talking to some people with the Jets and with the Lions and trying to get some of that information out of them. But ultimately, you, it's it's kind of it's priceless in terms of the opportunities that you get as these two staffs. Todd, in terms of position groups, where do you think the most depth is in this draft? I think the defensive line, we've seen it here. I mean, on, on one roster, the, the other roster, not the not the national that the Jets coaching, but the American that the Lions are coaching. Ten of the top, ten of the twelve defensive linemen on there, I have second and third round grades, first, second, and third round grades. So, I mean, that's rare to get here in Mobile to have ten guys that are going to be in the first and second day. So you just see, like, defensive tackle was a real problem last year. They had to bring in defensive ends and kick them inside because there weren't enough, you know, senior or graduated defensive tackles that could come and play at a high level. This year, you got Federian Mathis from Alabama. Um, you got Devontae Wyatt from Georgia. Uh, Zachary Carter is a three technique who, who, when he turns it on, can be a really explosive player from Florida. So there's a bunch of interior guys, and then the edge guys, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, Arnold Abichetti from, from Penn State is having a really good week and had a great uh, final season. Not the biggest guy, but he's got long arms and just so efficient with his pass rush moves. Um, Kingsley Enigbenare has had a really good week, even better than the tape I saw of him in South Carolina. D'Angelo Malone is kind of a 3-4 outside linebacker, uh, as is Amari Barno. Uh, Malone from Western Kentucky, Barno from Virginia Tech. They've had really good weeks. Uh, Maje Sanders is another one from Cincinnati who I would argue, he and Jermaine Johnson from Florida State have probably had the best week in terms of their practice play the first two days of all the edge rushers. And that's saying a lot because there are so many guys that we're talking about in that first, second, third round range. Lastly, I just wanted to ask you about the Jets 2021 draft class headlined by Zach Wilson. You get Elijah Vera Tucker, Elijah Moore, Michael Carter leads the team in rushing. You get a lot of value in those defensive backs on day three of the draft as well. Yeah, that, that's what Joe's going to do a great job of. You know, his, his background is managing the draft efficiently and being patient, um, but then he, you know he was a college scout. That's that's how he grew up in this league, and you know with with uh, with Phil as his college coordinator, you know director of college early on with the Ravens, um, and then as, as Joe kind of climbed the ladder there, um, that's how he he learned and grew up in this profession. And so it doesn't surprise me. You know, I mean, Michael Carter was a, was a great pickup. Elijah Moore, I mean the production that he brought. I, I loved him coming out of college and just you know the shifty, athletic ability to separate. He, he just he's done everything you would hope and probably a little bit more you know, in a rookie year. So so if, if Wilson can kind of, you know, get settled in and get into a groove and play to the level that I, I know he's capable of playing, and that's going to take more offensive line help and, and a lot, lot better, um, you know, talent and, and speed on the defensive side. But if, if Wilson gets going, you're starting to see kind of the pieces around him that he's going to need to kind of grow old with over the next several years. Exactly what Jets fans want to hear. We appreciate your time. All right, you got it. Take care.